Canada has a very special guest with us. He's a very important man of Canada. He's endured many challenges as he was the first explorer to cross the rugged terrain of Canada by foot. Now here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Alexander Mackenzie. How are you today, Alexander? Well, I just completed the long, long journey across land, so I'm exhausted. Tell me about that trek. I thought it was hard. Did you come across any difficult issues? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Without my telescope, compass, sextant, chronometer, and those natives for food and navigation, I never will have made it. I need to sleep on the canoe. Oh. I had to wake up at 4 in the morning to get an early start. <coughs> I work 18 hours shifts a day. And they terrible food. To me, being a voyager wasn't a luxury life. Definitely not. Without me, the Northwest Company would have had a difficult time with trading across Canada. I know you were part of the Northwest Company for quite some time now. Tell me about your life before. I was born in 1764 in Stowaway, Scotland. I lived in Stowaway until I was 10, until my mother died. My father was forced to move us to New York City to live with my uncle. Everything was well until the War of Independence broke out in 1776. My father then joined the army and moved me to Montreal where I had family. And then you became part of the Northwest Company? Well, I went to school for a while, then partnered with the Northwest Company, and became in charge of the Athabascan Department. Well, thanks for your time, Alexander, but that's all the time we have for today. Thank you. No problem.